Hi everybody, this is Donna. Welcome to my channel, Restore Glory. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I actually have a haul for you today. It's a smorgasbord haul. I actually have picked these items up over the last couple of weeks from a variety of places, from a church rummage sale, from the Goodwill, from another thrift store, from a, um, a shop that's kind of, they sell modern home decor, but some vintage stuff. I think I told you guys that I shopped from her place before. I'm kind of disappointed because one of the items that I did get, get from that shop, I didn't realize it was like really damaged. I didn't realize that. And uh, I, I kept them in my car this week. And uh, so they were wrapped up. I never even looked in the bag when she wrapped them up. And um, yeah, they're damaged. So there's no way they, I could, I didn't handle them. They were literally left in my car for a couple of days. And um, I didn't notice it in the store. And obviously that's my fault. But I'm going to see if I can take this item back to her on Saturday to see if she will exchange it for something else at the same value. So I'm hoping she'll do that um, because it's, I don't think I can sell this item. Anyway, I'll show it to you when I get to it so you guys can see the damage. Anyway, let me stop rambling. I'm going to get to this haul. I do have quite a bit of items to get to. But before I do that, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please, please uh, hit the subscribe button. If you, if you like this type of content and you like to see hauls and you like to see vintage and mid-century modern and um, oh, bohemian, I'm just all over the place. I, I have a very, very eclectic style. As you can see from my home decor, my style is very eclectic. I don't stick to one particular thing. But um, if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Um, um, the summer months are a little bit busy for me. I try to spend some time with my family and my friends. And my my, uh, my work, my full-time job, is um, there's a little bit of a lull this summer. But, uh, but I do try to spend time with my family and friends. And I'm actually in the process of, uh, or, again, organizing my inventory, preparing for... Um, for uh, all of the um, the upcoming holiday season. And again, before I even get started on anything else, please, please, please let me thank everyone who stopped by my channel on this past Saturday and participated in my Christmas in July sale. It was completely amazing. You know who you are. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm just over the moon excited about it. And, uh, and I'm thinking about doing another one, not this Saturday coming, but maybe the, the Saturday after that. And the other thing I do want to mention to you guys, just real quick, I just recently got approved to sell on Whatnot, and I'm so excited about that. I'm kind of sort of nervous because I've been watching some people on their Whatnot channels, and it's kind of sort of fast-paced. It's auction style, and um, and you could do buy it, now, buy it Now as well. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything this month. I'm going to try to get one in at the end of this month. It'll probably, probably just be Christmas items. So I'm going to try to do that. So stay tuned for that information. I will be sure to uh, make sure that I do a video and announce when I do decide to um, have a live sale on whatnot. So stay tuned for that as well. I'm really super excited about that. But also, I will probably continue doing um, live sales here on YouTube. And again, thank you for all of the people who's, who showed up on Saturday. I totally, totally appreciate it. And uh, I know Saturdays are completely busy for folks, whether it's family stuff or just getting out of the house or whatever. So you took the time to stop by my channel for the day and, and you hung in there with me. And I totally, totally appreciate it. All right, Donna. So let me just go ahead and get started. Uh, my light, I don't know what's going on with my light, but I'm just going to go for it. I actually uh, have some new uh, ring lights because I don't know my, this is my living room and I don't know, it depends on what time of the day the lighting is completely, completely off. So I'm going to try my best to, to get through this and hopefully you guys will be able to see the items. All right, Donna, stop rambling. All right, so the first item I'm going to show you is a Goodwill item. I actually have two of them and they are really heavy. I hope you can see that I paid $3.99, $2.99 for these. This is one. And let me just show you the other one. Bear with me. So I have a set of two of these. Now, the good news is that I'm going to just put this one down because these things are heavy. They got to weigh at least two pounds, right? It says Nibro, Sweden, 1985. I'm going to see if you guys can see that label. I'll try to hold it up for you. You see that label, Nibro, Sweden? And these are, I guess they're, they're paperweights, but they are really, they are definitely weighty. But I just love this little crystal cat, crystal, I'm sorry, not crystal, frosted cat. And it's a set of two of them. And I just think this is really super pretty as uh, as paperweights, right? And I'm going to sell them together for sure. Aren't they beautiful? 
absolutely beautiful. So for $2.99, I actually had to pick those babies up, but they are so heavy. Good grief. This is a workout. All right. So that's that. The next item, let's see. I'm going to show you a couple of boxes. So um, these are recipe boxes, guys. And like I said, I think that these were hauled a while ago. I think I sourced these things a while ago, but I don't know if I showed them to you. So I'm going to show them to you. If they look familiar, please forgive me. I'm planning on shooting. Um, I'm planning on taking some photographs this Saturday, like spending a great majority of Saturday uh, photographing some items and listing them. And the pile that I have that I show you, that I'm, I'm about to show you are some of the items that I'm going to um, that I'm going to list. So this is a recipe box, as you can see, very kind of sort of old fashioned. And it has uh, lots of uh, pumpkins and, you know, lots of fruit. I would call it a harvest type of style. And it says recipe. There are some recipe cards on the inside, as you can see. Um, I'll just show you one of them. So here are the dividers. Sorry about that. And then uh, the cards look like this. Here's what's cooking. So they're in fairly decent condition. And this is, it says on the bottom, 1979 current. So these are definitely vintage. But I just thought, even though there's a little rip right there that when uh, probably some tape was on it or something, but wouldn't that look cool in a very kind of sort of vintage kitchen? I love that. Love, love, love that. All right, the next box I actually found, I actually sold this same box probably about two or three weeks ago, I sold the same box. And I completely, when I saw it again, I said, Donna, you have another one. So look at this baby. Isn't that gorgeous? Love the pop of colors. Love the yellow and the red. Totally love the syndicate, syndicate manufacturing company. And again, this comes from that pile that I, I, I'm not sure if I hauled it or not sure if I showed you these things before. So if you have, please forgive me, but I'm going to, I'm going to uh, photograph these items this weekend and get them, um, get them listed up on my site. The next uh, 10 that I have is this one. This one is really sweet. This is Avon. Let me show you on the bottom. This is Avon. And this one is this bright and sunny yellow color. And there are some cards in it. I think these are just some generic cards in it from A to Z. And it's so funny because there is a recipe in here. I think I saw a recipe in here. Yep. For <clears throat> lentil soup. How about that? Handwritten by someone who had a recipe for lentil soup. That's awesome. Anyway, here's another little recipe tin. I totally love it. Made out of metal. And this one says Avon, and I think I paid 99 cents for that. Okay, so that's that. All right, the next item, I um, I just think it's just stunningly beautiful. Look at this baby. Isn't that gorgeous? On the bottom it says um, Inesco, Japan. That's the label right there, Inesco, Japan. And it's not heavy at all. It's kind of lightweight, but the colors on this thing, on this piece, on this figurine that is, are stunningly beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I totally love this thing. It's got to be at least, if I had to guess, guys, at least eight or nine inches tall. There are a few dings, a few uh, paint chips, but nothing crazy. It can easily be touched up, but no chips that I can tell, no, no cracks or anything. So this one is going to get photographs this weekend. I'm going to photograph this one outside against my uh, my trees. So I think that'll be pretty. All right, I'm going to put that baby there, Donna. Be careful. All right, so the next item, this actually came from the Goodwill, and it's Jim Shore. I do really well with Jim Shore. Um, so if you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys know about Jim Shore, but I always pick up Jim Shore. I always have to be careful because I get so excited when I pick it up. And you have to be careful because sometimes the wings are broken off or there's some piece that's broken off. This one, I looked at this baby very carefully before I bought it. And this one is called, it's it's May uh, Lily of the Valley. And the stone is emerald. And she does have a stone, the emerald stone right there. And, I, and as far as I can tell, there are no issues with her. 
Isn't she gorgeous? Her wings are intact, as you can see. She has her halo, hold on a second. Her halo right there, do you see it? And how all of her fingers appear to be there. Her basket, no chips or cracks in her basket. And I just love, love, love that green and uh, kind of sort of turquoise blue color combination. I totally love this. She's not tall. I would say probably about maybe six and a half inches tall. So she's not that tall, but here's the bottom. And as you can see, I paid $3.99 for her. And again, it says May, uh, Lily of the Valley, and the stone is emerald. And I'll try to show you her emerald stone, as you can see, underneath her necklace. Isn't that pretty? Totally love that. That would be a great, that would make a great Christmas gift for somebody whose birthday is in May, huh? I love that. I love Jim Shore anyway. I do really well with Jim Shore. As a matter of fact, I just, a Jim Shore piece just sold this week, as a matter of fact. All right. The next item I'm going to show you, I've sold a bunch of these and I always pick them up when I get them. I know you guys have seen these. These I paid $4.99. They're made out of metal. They're just kind of sort of wall decor. And I have sold this over and over again. And so I usually pick them up because people love them. This kind of sort of fan style. It's very kind of sort of 80s, mid-century modern type of style. And I'm not going to take them out of the plastic, but you guys get what they look like. But they uh, but they definitely have a mid-century modern 80, 80s vibe, huh? I totally love them. So this is a set of, I think it's a set of three. They're a little pokey. Alrighty, so that's that. I'm going to set that down there. Alright guys, i got to bend down out of the camera, so bear with me. Alright, this next item, I actually am so excited about this because these are just Christmas uh, Christmas figurines. And they're made out of acrylic or loose item. They're probably acrylic. Um, but they were originally at TJ Maxx. And I paid $3.99 for them. And the cool part about it is that I actually have a set of uh, acrylic deer that are in my stash right now. And they're pretty tall. These are not that tall. But um, but these are in excellent condition, as you can tell. New in box. Totally love these little babies. And again, these were $3.99 for a set of two. And I think these will make beautiful uh, uh, home decor for your Christmas holiday. Totally love those. All right, that's that. All right, so this next item I got to show you because my sister, wh whom I love dearly, uh, she actually... Um, uh, she lives about 40 minutes away from me, but she was out and about one day and she was at this mall near her house. And um, I think the name of this store had the word vintage in it, right? So she decided to go in and she called me. She's like, oh, Donna, you got to come to this store in Bowie. They got some really cool stuff there. Their prices are high, but they have some really cool stuff. She said, I, I even saw this, uh, this telephone that was only $25. So I'm like, take a picture of it and send it to me. So she took a picture of it and she sent it to me and I told her to get it. Now, um, here's, the, here's the phone, right? And I think this was $25. I told her to pick it up. It was $25. I told her to pick it up, right? Um, and... Hello, hello, this is Donna. Um, it is a Stromberg Carlson made in the USA phone. I think it had something about the Bell Company on here. Um, United Telephone System. Here's the bottom. But, um, and someone obviously cut the cords off. So whoever gets this baby, they're gonna have to, you know, figure out how to rewire it. I'm just gonna sell it as is. But um, the good news is that I believe I saw this, this rotary dial phone on eBay, they're selling, even without them being um, functional, they go for really good money. If I find a, a comparable sold, I'll stick it up here so you guys can see. But I, I love this bright and sunny yellow color. It's 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 absolutely, just, just makes me just want to pick up the phone and call somebody. Hello? It's so cool. I actually love this phone. I really do. My husband, I keep telling him that we need to have a hard line or a hardwired line, phone line in our home. And he's like, no, we don't need the expense. We just use our cell phones, but I cannot convince him to get a regular phone. Do you guys have a regular phone? I don't know. Anyway, all right guys, so this next item, um, again, this came from this, the pile that I'm going to photograph this weekend. And I'm not sure if I showed it to you before, but I'm gonna show it to you right now. Isn't that beautiful? It is a, um, pillow cover and I just totally love I thought I had two of these I really do but anyway I only have the one right now but isn't that gorgeous 
I love all the beads. It kind of sort of has a, a very regal kind of sort of style. I think it would I think it would go well with your Christmas uh, home decor or if you just have a boho home decor. But isn't that beautiful? I just love all the beads and the baubles and all the threads, the gold threads. And like I said, this is probably, if I had to guess, guys, probably... Um, 14 by 14, I think, is the size. So I just thought that was stunningly beautiful. So I'm going to take a photograph of that baby, and I'm going to get that one listed this weekend. The next item, again, I find these all the time, and I always pick them up. I try to save a bunch of them so I can sell a bunch of them. But these, these straw uh, trivets, and this is a set of three. And so usually when I sell them, I usually try to sell them in groups of six or eight. Um, I think I've sold as many as maybe 10 at a time. But I think these are so cool. I think I'm just going to sell these as is. This is a set of three. I think I even have some more. I have to double check. If I have more, I will sell the other because I think I have another set of three somewhere. Anyway, aren't these cool? Totally love these. These straw trivets. I have sold a bunch of these, like a bunch of them. I, I pick them up all the time wherever I go. I went to a... Um, there's a, a store in, uh, oh my goodness, it's in Alexandria. And I went there probably like a year and a half, a year ago. And they had um, a bunch of these. I want to say at least 40 or 50 of these babies, right? But her, or the price, the shop owner prices were like, these I think I probably paid less than $3 for, probably $2.99 or something like that. But she, this shop, I don't know why I keep saying she, it could have been a he. This particular shop had trivets like this for like $25 for like, I want to say like maybe two. And she had a bunch of them. Like they had a bunch of them, uh, all different types of shapes. So um, I couldn't pick those up because I, there's there, there would be no wiggle room at 20 to $25 for a set of two. There would be no wiggle room for me as a reseller. So I left them there. These, if I see them in the Goodwill or at a yard sale, I always pick them up because they always, always do well. Always do well. So love, love, love these straw trivets. Um, the next item is in that pile that I'm going to... Um, photograph this weekend. I don't know why I, I didn't get this baby listed. I only paid $3.99 for it, but look at this. It's just a little, I'm going to call it a little boho bag. I love these type of bags, but it has that peace symbol. Don't we need peace today? We totally need lots of peace today. So anyway, I thought this was super cool. I love that peace symbol. I love the fact that it's got this boho vibe and the peace symbol is on the other side as well. And it's just like a little shoulder bag. You just throw it on your shoulder. I love, love, love. I have a bag like this and wherever, that I usually wear all the time, as a matter of fact. And I don't care whenever I'm in the store, some person always stops me and say, oh, my God, I love that bag. It's so beautiful. That particular bag, I, I know I've had for about 20 years. But um, it's in good shape. It hasn't unraveled or anything. And this one is pretty much the same. Here's the strap. Isn't that gorgeous? And there's, it, it, it can zip up on the inside. Here's the zipper part. So it'll secure your belongings. It's about to rain. Oh my goodness. Anyway, but isn't that gorgeous? It's kind of, the background is kind of like a little peach pink color. And then I love, love, love again, that peach, that peace symbol on the middle. And guys, just like with anything, if you guys see, if there's anything here that you guys like, just, just leave me a message. Um, I'll put all of my information down in the description. You can send me an email and say, hey, Donna, I like this item or whatever. We'll work out a deal. Um, no worries at all. But uh, most of these items, the one that, that I am listing and photographing this weekend, they'll be up on my Etsy shop this weekend. Everything else is going to take me about a week to get these, uh, to get these photographed and listed. So huh, that's just that's just how it is. Excuse me one second. My coffee is cold. All right. So um, let me just show you these two items. So guys, if you've ever gone to the store, I know I do it all the time. I pick it up, I put it down. I pick it up, I put it down. I pick it up, I put it down. Do I really need another piece of uh, uh, kitchenware or home or glass or anything that's glass or anything that's kitchenware? I always, you know, talk myself out of something. And then when I do a Google lens on something, I'm thinking, okay, Donna, that might be something. 
So I think I'm going to show you this little um, gravy boat, first of all, because I want to show you how stunningly beautiful this color is. It's definitely about to rain. My lighting is going down. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. There is some crazing, but for the most part, this thing is in excellent condition. No chips and no cracks that I could tell. I paid $3.99 for this one, but I totally love, 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 love that kind of sort of bluish lavender color. So I picked this one up and then I was just going to get this one. But then there was this big baby. This was $6.99 on the shelf, right? Look at this. Gorgeous, right? Excellent condition. Again, no chips, no cracks that I could tell. Um, hold a second. Got to be careful. Here's the inside. But here's the deal, guys. Let me show you this, this mark on the bottom. So take note of this, this little round kind of lever right here, right? So um, I'm going to show you the mark on the bottom. It's This mark says hand-painted France. So you see that? You see that, baby? So I did a Google lens on that mark, and I believe it was, it wasn't Limoges. Nonetheless, when I did a Google lens on a similar, I'm just going to call it like a, not a terrine or maybe like a serving, serving bowl or whatever you want to call it, but it's still in that same color. When I did a Google lens on a similar type of bowl, they were going for it sold, not listed, sold on eBay in the $80 range. Yeah. So I picked them up I could be, because first of all, the color is stunningly beautiful. So I wanted to pick them up. So again, when I looked up that symbol and saw that it was made in France, I think it wasn't Limoges, it was some other marking and if i find it i promise you i'll put it up there so, so you guys can see a comp and the prices that they're selling for so i absolutely picked this one up for 6.99 the gravy bowl was 3.99 so i'm going to sell them as a set and i'm pretty sure somebody's going to totally love this beautiful beautiful kind of stunningly uh, lavender blue color it's just so pretty i love 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 this so i, I had to pick it up all right, so let me put this there, move this around. Okay, this next item is going to be photographed this week, and I had this in my stash. I don't think I ever showed you guys this, but, um, and I think, I think this is anchor hocking. Please don't uh, quote me on this, but I think it's anchor hocking. If not, I'll make sure I correct it and put something up here to completely identify it. But I know that these come in a set. And I, and I know that this red, uh, these plants and this, this decor right here, they're called something. So I will put the notation of this particular pattern and who makes this. But I believe it's, I believe that this is a, um, uh, a grease canister. I think that's what this is. Sorry, I think that's what this is. Here's the top. So I will try to identify this baby and I will let you guys know what this is. But I just thought it was super kind of vintagey looking and um, totally love it. So I will try to identify that and put that up in the, um, up here on this video. This next item is another item. Is that everything? I think it is everything that I am going to photograph. This next item, I don't know if I showed you guys this, but look at this beautiful baby, this beautiful owl. It's like a little box. It's made out of fabric. It has a mirror, as you can see. We can put some jewelry in it. This top comes up. Um, I don't remember if I if I showed you guys this, but again, I am so going to. Um, uh, somebody asked me about owls. I can't remember, and so I, I thought of this one. And this one I don't think was photographed, and so I'm going to get this one listed and photographed and listed this week on my Etsy shop. Isn't that gorgeous? Totally love that. Stunningly beautiful with this beautiful color. Totally love it. So that's that. I think that's everything that I'm going to that I'm going to photograph this weekend. All right. So this the next set of items I'm going. Oh, sorry. One other item, guys. I got to show you. This one is something I'm going to photograph this weekend. This was already a, from a, a previous haul, a previous uh, stash. That is. It is this made in Germany. Let me just show you the back. Made in Germany. Isn't this, isn't this adorable? Look at this. 
I absolutely love, love, love this baby. And I think I ha I'm pretty sure that it works. Um, hold on a second. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that it works. I think the batteries are probably dying down. But I think this little bird, hold on a second. I think he moves around or whatever. But just look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It is so pretty. And let me just show you the back. Made in Germany. And then on the bottom of it has this wonderful lady. She's just, she's just swinging, having a good old time. Isn't that gorgeous? I totally love it. So this baby's getting photographed this weekend and it's going up on my Etsy shop, Restore Glory. So I believe that is everything that I pulled for uh, photographing and um, getting up on my Etsy shop. Everything else that I'm showing you is definitely from the thrift store, the church room itself, and that shop that I usually go to. So the next items I'm gonna show you are three wise men. And I paid $2.99 each. Now they do have some dings along the way, like some of the some of them are a little a little dingy or whatever, but I still think they will sell well. These things are so tall. They're probably a good 14 inches tall. So here's one. And then the three wise men. Like let me show you some of the dings. Like there's a ding there, and um there's a ding on his hat. But those can easily be touched up. They still will display well in your home. So here's one. Again, these are tall, at least maybe even maybe even 15 or 16 inches tall. They're really tall. So that's one. Here's another wise man. I love these. These may be kind of hard to to sell cuz I love Christmas stuff anyway. So I'm, I don't know. We have to see about that. <laughs> And then the last one, I just love it because the, the purple color. And this one does have some dings, as you can see on his robe here and down here. But I still think they will display well for Christmas. Look at that. Love those. So those were $2.99 a piece, right? Pardon me, guys. I'm going to scoot him over. All right, the next item is just another 222 fifth. And uh, I have uh, I have some 222 fifth plates, but it's the peacock pattern, that beautiful peacock pattern. I paid $2.99 for this, uh, I'm gonna call it a creamer. And let me show you the bottom, the 222 fifth brand. You guys have seen the 222 fifth uh, items that I have collected and um, not collected, but sourced and have listed in my shop. So these do really well. They sell really well. And I just love, love, love that gold and blue and love the 222 fit pattern, this peacock pattern. So this one is in great shape. No chips and no cracks. It's a little dirty. Got to clean it up a little bit. But that was $2.99. So that was a good piece. This next item is kind of heavy. So bear with me. I got to pull this baby over. I'm just going to show you the the uh, container it's in. How about that? Isn't that pretty cool? But wait till you see what's on the inside. It was not, was this half price? At Goodwill. I think this was half price. It's, it's not, it, the, the tag says $9.99, but I do believe it was half price there. And that's the reason why I picked it up. I don't remember. Anyway, it's like this chest. I'm going to call it a pirate's chest. Here's the uh, the lion's head on the side. It's made out of wood and all of this metal kind of sort of strappings on the front, right? This in and of itself would have been cool, right? But hold on. Hold on, my friends, until you see what's on the inside. Stand by. <laughs> Ta-da! Two decanters and shot glasses, and they say bourbon and scotch, right? And the shot glasses. Totally love this. And the cool thing about it is that I have, believe it or not, I gotta show you these decanters, look at that. Oh my God, gorgeous. Talk about barware decor, right? So this is the bourbon with the, the label, or the label says bourbon. Beautiful diamond cut 
uh, decanter in excellent condition. I don't see any chips or cracks. Uh, I'm not going to try to take that out for you guys. But that one says bourbon. And then this one says scotch. No chips or no cracks. All right? And then it comes with four shot glasses. I'm just going to show you two of them. Right, they're a little dirty. Got to clean them up a little bit. Now, the cool part about it, this is a, this is a, I can ship this um, thing all together. I'll carefully ship it and make sure it's packaged correctly so that there there isn't any damage. Um, is that a chip? No. Okay. Ooh, that scared me. All right. So what I started to say, guys. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Guess what? I I have two of these. Um, I just remembered that I have two of these decanters, exactly the same decanters, but I don't have these labels. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up, uh, I'm going to probably get this one listed fairly soon too, th with this entire set. But then I have two separate uh, amber colored decanters that are just like this with the same pattern that they, they don't have this label. But, uh, but yeah, I'm going to get those listed as well. That is so cool. So people who are into barware, vintage barware that comes in this beautiful case, I think this will do well. And again, I believe that I got this half price. I think it was at the Goodwill when the green was uh, half price. So um, I think this will absolutely, absolutely do well. I thought that was a great find. Great find. And of course, I was going to pick that baby up. All right, so that's that. So I'm switching gears and I'm going over to this side. I'm going to show you the next item. This one I got from, um, where did I get this? The church rummage sale, yep. Look at this beauty. It was only $2. This amber colored ruffled edge um, candy dish, I guess. Isn't that beautiful? And again, I only paid $2 for that at the church rummage sale. I thought that was really pretty. Uh oh, sorry about that. Don't damage it, Donna. There we go. All right, the next item I got from the church rummage sale. This was only two dollars. It's a little dusty, but I thought this one was really cool. I have sold some of these um, cocktail shakers before. This one I thought was pretty cool because of the graphics. I hope the light won't distort it. But anyway, look at the little uh, the little dancer there, and then there's like a little bartender here. And then, I don't know if that's a, that looks just like a, I don't know if that's a policeman or not, but the little poodle at the bottom, but it definitely is very, very vintagey looking. There's some dance, some, some little can-can dancers right there. Do you see that? <laughs> but anyway, of, of course, this is a, uh, a cocktail shaker and there's a, it says Moulin Rouge and Tom Collins, Martini, Ballet de Paris. La Pra Paris. So I totally love this one. And I don't think there's any markings on it. But I think when I initially looked this one up in particular, again, I paid $2 for this. I think these these are these go for about $30. Love, love, love that. That was a good pickup. All right, so how am I going to show you these babies? I might as well just go ahead and pull them all up. I'm just gonna show you three of them. I'm not gonna pull them all up. All right, guys, you see these? So these, I believe, are <coughs> um, perfume bottles, perfume bottles. So I have eight of these. I have, I'm have. i only gonna show you three because some of them don't have the stoppers, and uh, I, and but some of them do. So let me just show you this one right here. Look at that. These were like 99 cents each. Of course, I was going to pick them up. Hello. So this one does have its stopper. This one does not have a stopper. But I think they would all look beautifully, beautiful. They would display beautifully on your dresser. So here's one. And this other one, this one right here does not have a... I don't know which size it goes. Maybe it's this way. This one doesn't have a stopper. So I have eight of these and they're all in different shapes and different colors. And so again, I only paid 99 cents for those. So I'm going to sell them all as a lot. 
just all together. I'm not going to, I'm going to not going to sell them separately. And, you know, just note that, uh, that some of them don't have the stopper and maybe someone will want these as display for your, uh, for your dresser, for your bathroom, you know, your boudoir dresser or something like that. So these are beautiful. These are so pretty. So definitely I was going to pick those babies up. Let me just carefully put those out of the way. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened to the stoppers, but they didn't make it, I guess. All right, guys, so I've been really trying to stay off the mud kick, but I could not leave this baby behind. <laughs> so he was only, I think he was only like 99 cents, probably even less than that. So I wasn't going to leave him behind because mugs are easy. People love owls and they're easy to ship. So I decided to pick him up because he's so cute. Hello. All right, the next item I got from the church rummage sale. And hold on a second. Um, and I knew I was going to forget this pattern, but I've sold it before. It's not poppy trail or anything like that. Oh my goodness, guys. I know you know this pattern. I'm going to find it and then I'll put it up in the uh, in the description here. But this is a salt and pepper shaker. This pattern is uh, very popular. I particularly for the fall and, you know, Thanksgiving season, but I have a salt and pepper shaker. I think I paid a dollar. There we go. A dollar for both of them. I think it was a dollar for both of them. So they're in excellent condition. They do not have their stoppers. You can easily get those, but there are no chips or cracks. I will clean them up, but here's the salt shaker. And here is the pepper shaker. And again, these will display well on your uh, Thanksgiving and holiday, uh, Thanksgiving harvest home uh, dining decor. So I thought that was cool. I was definitely going to pick those babies up for a dollar. All right. And the next item I got from the rummage sale and I paid $2. Look at this gorgeous piece. Hello. Isn't this stunningly beautiful? Just love, love, love the color. It's iridescent. Like when you look at it, it's so funny because if you look at it in certain lights, it looks purple, it looks amethyst, and then there's hints of blue. So, but I just totally love it. This is the bottom. Not sure if this is Ellie Smith or um, Viking. I'm not really sure, but it's beautiful. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. And it's probably about maybe 10 inches tall, maybe. Love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, the next item is another, oops, please don't fall, another box. And um, actually this one is a piece that I am going to photograph this weekend. I pulled it to, to, um, to photograph. So look at that, beautiful inlay wood just love that that kind of sort of i'm going to call it mother of pearl i guess but look at that isn't that stunningly beautiful look at that gorgeous it's a nice little wooden box a little trinket box here's the inside nice and bright red nice and clean it's probably if i had to guess guys probably five by seven or six by nine but look at that here's the back it has some glue residue i'll clean all of that up but isn't that beautiful? I hope you guys can see that stunningly beautiful iridescent color, the moon and the birds. Very pretty little wooden box. I love that. All right, so that's that. Hold on for a second. Let me just push this out of the way. There we go. All right, so the next two items, I'm going to show you them together. This, These items I got from the... Um, from that um, home decor place slash vintage. She does have some vintage items there as well. And these are definitely vintage. They're wall decor. They're a little dusty. I just realized that they're a little dusty. Look at these babies. Here's one and here's two. So I'll definitely sell these as a set. As you can see, they hang on the wall. And I don't remember how much she charged me for these. I wanna say she charged me $18 for, for the two of them. So yeah, that was a little, that was a little much. 18. Yeah, I think it was 18. She charged me for both of them, which is which is fine. But these will sell. I know that these will absolutely sell because A, they're beautiful. A, they're, and B, they're definitely retro, mid-century modern looking. And the subject is just gorgeous. So the pair of them, I'm pretty sure I'll do well with these. I'm, I'm not worried about those. 
So I'll do well with those. All right, hold on one second. Let me put that one right there. Get that one out of the way. It is getting super dark here. All right, guys. So this one I just got from um, Goodwill, and it was only 99 cents. It's just for um, Halloween or whatever. It's like one of those little caps. Hello. I could probably wear this. Hello. Very cool. Um, yeah, so this one will do well. It's just like a little little uh, little hat that you can wear around the Halloween time. It has um it has the oranges and the reds and the greens and look at that. It has a little pumpkin, that beautiful orange flower, and here's some googly eye pumpkins. I don't know, maybe did somebody make this probably? Probably not. Anyway, isn't that cute? It's so cute. Now, who wouldn't want to wear that? Seriously. Come on in. That is just like, ooh. Hello. Fancy. Okay. <laughs> Fancy. All right, so that was only 99 cents. Um, the next item I got from Goodwill, this was only $1.99. I thought it was so pretty. I'm so drawn to little trinket boxes. You know, it's kind of hard for me not to keep these things, but I'm definitely going to sell this one. This one is kind of beaded and sequined, but isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. That's like really pretty. I love that. It's all my colors. You know, let me show you the inside. It's kind of sort of plain on the inside. It's not that big, but just love that. This looks like something that may have come from Pier 1 Imports or something. I don't know, but it's so pretty. So I thought I would pick that up for $1.99. And then this next set, I can't believe it was $1.99. It well, first of all, there was no price on it. And and I asked them to ask them to price it. And sometimes with Goodwill, at least where I live, sometimes they're no, we can't price it or whatever. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm here. Why should I have to wait? I'm standing right here. Like it's got to be management. It's got to be able to make an executive decision. If you have a customer that wants something, right, I'm taking the time to ask you to price it. Can you please go do what you got to do? Go look it up or whatever and give me a price. So anyway, they were nice today and they actually got this price for me. So let me just show you the box. The bottom says Swank Texan made in France. So that's the label on the bottom. And again, I paid $1.99 for it. It's like a little uh, grooming kit. It has some scissors, some tweezers, a little comb, a brush. Um, yep, look at that. There was something that was here that's missing. I don't know what's missing, but um, you can put whatever you want to put in that slot right there. But... It could have been, uh, I don't know, guys. It could have been something. I don't know, but it's definitely not there now. But it comes with this brush. This, I believe, hold on a second. I'll pull this out. This is like a little, um, I guess you can store um, your supplies or something in that little plastic box, right? So I thought that was cool. And then like a little comb, a brush. It even has, hold on a second, I'll show you this. Like a little plastic bottle where you can put your uh, cologne or something like that or your aftershave or whatever. Why does this have to be for a man? I don't know, Don. It could be for a woman. Okay, there we go. But it could be anything. Perfume, cologne, whatever you want, you can put inside this little case right here. Now, the other thing I noticed, I don't know what this baby is. Hold on a second. I got to pull this out. What the heck is this? Oh, Okay. This is probably like, I was about to say toothbrush, but maybe not. Look at that. Would your toothbrush go in there? Probably, huh? Very Art Deco-y. Very Art Deco-y. So I'm going to look up this, uh, um, hold a second. This is beginning to be a problem. It's like a puzzle. I'm going to look up this Swank Texan Made in France label and see if anything comes up and see if I see anything similar and try to find out what the piece that's missing that's in this grooming kit and uh, and I'll price this thing accordingly but the but the um, the box itself is in good shape the, everything else I believe looks like it's in really good shape um, and so we'll see with this box for $1.99 of course I was going to get that for $1.99 and then I this was $5.99 
And um, who doesn't love the Peanuts characters, particularly Snoopy and Charlie Brown and Lucy? This is a baking dish for Christmas. And it says, let it snow in this beautiful red color. I just love, love, love this. So I think this will do well. This will probably go in one of my um, uh, Christmas live sales. But I totally love that Charlie Brown and Snoopy and Lucy dish. Totally loved it. I looked this one up very quickly in the store. And uh, I think one recently sold for about $28. So I thought that was pretty good. In good shape. No chips, no cracks, no uh, utensil marks on the bottom. I just thought that was really super cool. I don't There's a few, but I don't think it's major. I don't even think those are utensil marks, actually. But anyway, it's in great condition. I don't see any chips or cracks on it. So if you love Charlie Brown and Lucy and, um, and Snoopy, let it snow. All right. Now, this last item is the item. Hold on a second. Let me just take some of this cold coffee. I'm actually doing well. So this this last two items, last three items I'm gonna show you is what I got from that home decor place and I'm taking these back on Saturday. So let me just show you the, the little small um, figurine. I'm gonna call it the lady with the waves, waved hair or wave head or something. I actually have a larger one of these that, is it in my shop? Yep, it's listening to my Etsy shop right now. It's a really large one. It's all white, and that one is large. This one is not that big at all, as you can see. Um, and this one definitely does have like a little iridescent uh, um, paint painting on it. There is some crazy. And uh, she, her face is pretty much in good condition, as you can see. But it definitely has this whole mid-century modern vibe, right? But here's the deal, guys. Look at that. She's cracked up. She's You may not be able to see it on camera, but she's all cracked up in here. And it's it's loose cracked too, like all up in here. She may not even, may, may not have, have even noticed it either um, because I'm pretty sure she would have, have either uh, pointed it out or just not sold it. So, but it is a serious, serious crack. And um, yeah, I have to take it back because again, like I said, and hold on a second. So it came with, not that it came, this was one price. Hold on a second. And then these little two small ones was another price, right? And then I noticed that this one, her nose is chipped. Just, just chipped, she's good. No chips or cracks that I can tell in this one, but this one, her nose is completely, completely like chipped. So I got a set of three of these, excuse me, I thought it was completely, completely cool. And um, it had this mid-century art deco kind of sort of vibe to it, but I cannot keep these. So I'm pretty sure she'll be reasonable and she will at least allow me to exchange these items for something else because I cannot do anything with these. I mean, I thought about just, you know, saying, hey, Donna, go ahead and sell them. This one, you, I mean, it can be repaired. Um, if you take your time, it can it can be repaired. You can barely see it, but um, but I'm just not gonna sell it. I just I can't. I just I I just cannot sell it like this. I don't mind disclosing when stuff is chipped or cracked or damaged, but um, this one is just too great for me to try to keep and try to sell it for any profit. So I think what I'm gonna do is take it back to her on Saturday and say, hey, this was in my car. I just pulled it out and I noticed that these were. Um, these were cracked and hopefully she'll allow me to do some type of exchange for uh for some other items hopefully she will so we shall see all right guys so i think that's it i'm so glad this is perfect time and i kept this under an hour so this is great it's about to pour down here in maryland it's been kind of sort of thundering a little bit while i've been shooting this video but thank goodness it hasn't come down i was talking to my sister uh, earlier today and her power went out for a day and a half. So our lights will flick here in Maryland, where the part of Maryland I'm at, they will flicker, but they don't go out, which is good. Um, I think that only happened maybe one time since we've been here. They went out for like maybe, maybe an hour and then they, they pop back on. But where my sister lives, her power always goes out at the slight uh, hint of a storm or at least a severe storm. And, um, and her lights will stay out for like a day and a half. And on a few occasions, she's gone to the hotel in her area. I don't know why she doesn't come to my house because she only lives 40 minutes away. 
but uh, but that's nonetheless. She has so much stuff to pack up her granddaughter and her kids, and I'm like, look, you guys, we'll just make it work. But she uh, she wants to, I guess, not inconvenience me, and I keep telling her, honey, you you're my you're my darling sister. You never inconvenience me. You can always come. But thankfully, when I talked to her today, her lights were still on. Her lights were on, and she was good to go, and she didn't lose any food or anything like that. So they're back in business. So looks like it's going to do something. I just did this video just in time with my cold coffee. So, guys, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. Again, I'll put all of my, uh, my Etsy shop and all of my information in the description here. Again, if there's anything that you see... Uh, the, the items that I listed that I mentioned are going to be um, photographed and listed today. Everything else is probably going to take me about a week to get them photographed and listed. However, if there's anything that you see that you're interested in, just let me know. Send me an email and just let me know. All right? All right, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And if you're in Maryland, stay safe. Smooches!